So the first the most basic piece of equipment is probably this uh, keycap puller. So you usually get them with uh, almost any half decent mechanical keyboard. Uh, it's quite difficult to take the keycaps off without one. So next up is uh, a box of stuff. So this isn't the ideal box and I'd like to get a decent one with, with a bit more space. But this is where I keep uh, most of the stuff that I use when I'm working on, on the boards. Um, what's first? Uh, a pair of pliers. Um, uh, a leatherman, cutting stuff, there's another cutting thing here I think, yeah, cheap, knife, uh, flux, this is super super useful, I think I've mentioned this before, flux, uh, this, this is a brush type, so it gets a bit dry at the end uh, sometimes, so I want to get one of those pens with a bit of a felt end, uh, that's what I like, but anyway, flux, always good, um, solder wick, Again, for desoldering stuff, so I got a few different sizes of those. There's another one somewhere. Anyway, and uh, something to remove the uh, switches from a plate. So you can see uh, the prongs there. Where are they? There. See the prongs there? And put those in the plate and remove things very easily. Uh, flush cutters. A lighter. I think I use a lighter for when I was making USB cables and it's still sat in there. Uh, brushes. The brushes are for lubing switches. Uh, put those away there. Uh, two different kinds of lube. I got this lube from Zeal PC. So uh, thin lube and thick lube. I think they're, they're a, a mix of one of the Crytoxes. I, I can't remember which ones they are, but uh, different ones. One's for switches and one's for the uh, stabilizers. And speaking of, I've got another kind of lube here. Um, I use this on the stabilizer wire, and I, I recently put some of this on my uh, TX. So it was very good. I'm very happy with, with the way this turned out. I wasn't sure because people usually only recommend uh, um, Crytox. And so I put some of that lube in the syringe so I can get in there more easily. Uh, syringe for lubing. Uh, this is a screwdriver that fits my Monarch, so I need that handy. File. Uh, this is a brush that I use for cleaning uh, PCBs um, when they've got uh, flux on them. So one of these brushes and some of this stuff works wonders. So you get some of this stuff and some uh, isopropyl alcohol, which I have in this really, really handy dis pump dispenser here. So you just push the top and the uh, alcohol comes out the top and then you get it wet with some one of these and then you brush on and uh, it's a nice safe way to clean up flux. What else we got here? Tweezers, of course, useful for holding small bits of stabilizers and stuff, bit of stabilizer wire there. The tools I think I've shown in an, yeah in another video for uh, removing um, uh, MX switch tops. That's the switch top remover for MX. Another one for cleaning is this blower, which I also use for my camera, so it's really useful for getting in the uh, in between the switches and underneath things. Of course, Q-tips very useful for cleaning as well. Solder. Uh, of course is really useful so this is the this is the kind that i use uh, 6337 desoldering pump this is a huge huge desoldering pump but i don't really like it very much it's really noisy and it's squeaky and the spring is really squeaky so uh, i don't use that anymore yeah so i don't use that solder uh, desoldering pump anymore i use this fancy this fancy one let me just see if i can open it all right so this is a, uh, an electric desoldering gun. Uh, this is so, so good, so useful. So when I'm soldering, I use one of these. It's really small, it's too small, and I'd like to get a better one. This is kind of one that I've had for a long time. I'd, I'd like to get a bigger, bigger one that's going to fill a much larger area. Switch lube and messing around stations that I got from uh, Flerad from Australia. A multimeter that I've had for years, years and years I've had this thing, cheap from, uh, from Akihabara. Rubber gloves for when you don't want to get your hands all, all dirty and messy. Another important one is the soldering iron. So this is the one I use. This is the, the very popular Hakko. 
And last but not least, a towel. If you're a fan of Hitchhiker's Guide, you know that towels are, are always very useful. You should never leave, never leave home without one. And I, I do use this uh, to cover a wider area because I've not got the best um, soldering mat ever. So I use this towel to, to protect my, uh, my desk mat here. All right, so that, that's about it. And uh, I'll be back for another keyboard-related video in the future. So see you next time. Bye-bye.